Wonderful audience. I was preaching in Fresno. We did a rally before a tent crusade. Many, many people showed up, including several pastors. And I am a pastor's best friend. If you're a pastor, I'm in your corner. I believe the local church is God's secret weapon. I believe that an anointed local church is the single greatest way to get from where we are back to reformation. But I'm not for the hypocrite. I'm not for the phony. I'm not for the false, carnal, entertainment-centered preacher. But let me tell you something. That night, God did something in that meeting in Fresno. There were about 50 pastors with the crowd. And I walked out and I, I did something I've never done before. I said, how many of you in this room have had a child suspended from school because they wore a Christian teacher. Hands went up. How many of you been fired because someone looked on your Facebook page and saw Christian values? Hands went up. So how many of you right now are being threatened at work continually if you don't abandon your Christian values? And hands went up. And I looked at the pastors and I said, what are you preaching to help these people? And you know what? If you look at the landscape of the American church, the sermons that are coming out of our pulpits are absolute nonsense. Let me finish. That are disconnected with reality. They have nothing whatsoever to do with what's going on in the nation, what's going on in the people, but it is a moment of nostalgia. You see, they are yearning to go back to the pre-pandemic Christianity. They're yearning to believe that we can say and do and preach the same old doctrines we always preached. And it grew the church and refused to admit it. The difference is, is Franklin Delano Roosevelt sat down with DuPont and Kaiser and Henry Ford. And he told them, whatever we have going on with us doesn't matter. We got to stop imperialist Japan and we got to stop the Nazis. And the only way I can do it is with you. And the only way we can do it is with you learning what is at stake. And he said something very powerful. The company you built won't be here if Hitler wins. The company you so yearn to protect, the excuse you're giving me that you're not going to build the weapons I need is that you have got to protect your profits. They're not going to be there. Your grandchildren won't have freedom. And that's how he won it. That's the argument for today, Pastor. And I want you to listen to me. Don't tell me that you're afraid of preaching against political immorality. Don't tell me you're afraid of confronting Biden in all his demented madness because you're afraid that they're going to shut down your church. You have no idea. It is in your silence that your church is going to get shut down. It is in your compromise that your church is going to get shut down. If we don't act, that's going to close the door.